Let's see what the world has to offer for us here. I had a chocolate chip cookie on the break. <clears throat> All right. Go to the hall now. To the hall. I wonder what's going to happen here. I didn't even see what was down there. What was down there, by the way? Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Ah, there's a chest here. Um, I don't know what that is. Read about it. Weak sweating with bellows and forge, and what do you know? There's Tor shining in my hands, and then there it goes, cracking into shards with the first practice strike. Must have botched something in the alley composition, or cooled it too fast after forging. Hard to say, just gotta try again, I guess. But not here, because Vesemir is already badgering me with the blasted words of wisdom. Should have known asking his advice was opening a bottomless can of worms. Don't know how Geralt puts up with that without going the rest of the way crazy. Okay. Is that part of a quest or something? It must be. It must be. Is this a door I can go into? No. Okay. I've checked out most of this stuff, but, you know, I kind of want to check it again. I like how it says spend an evening with the other witchers, and current time in game is 10 a.m. That's a lot. What's over here? I don't think I ever walked over here. Oh, we got like a garden or something going on over here. That's... can't go in there. <clears throat> Alright, let's go in there. God, I feel like this microphone is just too much in the way, man. Like, holy crap. Is it in the way? That should be a lot better right there. Uh, like, right there. That's good. That should be fine. I still kind of wish I would mount the swivel on the sides of my desk instead of, like, behind my monitor area. That way it's not so much in my face. The microphone, and that is. Treasure? That's sorry stuff. We do have things. There is no merchant here, so. Uh, well, I mean, we should be fine, right? We should be fine with. Um. The amount of inventory space that we have currently going on. Where's Uma? Hey, Uma. Little guy. Got you everything you need. Splendid. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. Yeah, tell her. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's the other method? 
What is this method? <laughs> Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, Ooh. we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion. I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn with Uma or whoever hides inside him. You're going to make me choose. I'm not going to throw that there because he's always been that. Mm, I could say it, but I do agree with him. Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Care Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Jennifer's like, I ain't doing it. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. <laughs> Play the drinking game. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <laughs> Good God. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Sure. Where do you go while you were away, Eskel? Aldersburg. Hunted a higher vampire. Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. <laughs> Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. Suppose so. But you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. <laughs> Maybe you should wear a mask permanently. <laughs> and maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Gross. Lambert? What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Carradin? Scrub? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty <clears throat> lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush! I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble, attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense, get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant, just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. 
Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? Yeah. Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He got caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> wow. Uh. We give him the answer. I mean, we're just we're just kind of just. It's not like there's a hate going on. It's just more of just like a messing around. But I wonder if this has any impact on possibly getting together with Triss, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. How would Geralt react to that? How would he react to that? Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only... You'll fucking what?! Don't react. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because... Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... <clears throat> How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert especially. But the hour is late. Uh oh. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow is an important day. I feel like if you romanced uh, Yennefer, there would have been another option to. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? Go back they to the bed. Never do. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. <laughs> Went music. Yeah, there was figured figured as much. 
Do 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 do. You can play some cards. Let's do it. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin though, right? Uh, I'd rather play for, you know, better cards, but, you know, sure, why not? Yeah, unless you'd rather play strip Quint. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in you. Compare your trouser snakes later. Pouch is on the table. <laughs> <laughs> you bunch of weirdos. What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play. I uh, see the crones. Yeah. All right. Uh, so in terms of Gwent, <clears throat> uh, I bet like I played throughout that entire Novigrad tournament, the high stakes quest. Uh, I played my Nilf Guardian deck. It's pretty good, I think. We got a good amount of. Uh, Cards here. We got like three different ways to draw extra cards. We got some pretty good hero cards. So, and I like being able to um, draw a card from your opponent's discard pile. That's pretty good. And also, when there's a tie, we always win. So, like, that's pretty good. Oh, and he's playing Nilf Guardian as well. So let's see if we can beat him. Hopefully we can. I don't want to lose. So we have clear weather. Might be all right. Serious elf. That's good for card draw. Uh, this needs another one of them to actually like be good. Yennefer brings back another card. That guy is pretty much a scorch. That brings back another card. Okay. I think I will... Uh, Commander Horn, do I want to keep it? No. Impenetrable Fog, I mean... Guess we'll keep it. Let's get rid of that guy. Okay. Alright. I just hope that I can uh, get more card draw with that. Okay, pick a Torrental Rain card. Biting Frost. Wow, early with the Biting Frost there, buddy. Pretty early. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and play that then. Yes, card draw. Perfect. The more card draw, the better. Especially that one's seven. It's going to go to one. Card draw. Opponent passed. Really, opponent? Now, here's the interesting thing. We're both playing Nilf Guardian uh, factions, so who gets the tie, or do we both lose? That's the question. Uh, I don't really want to lose, so I'll just go ahead and play that, and then we'll go ahead and win this round. Because why not? Now I can always draw another card, or draw more cards, uh, by taking a, that card from his discard pile and then playing it again uh, for more card advantage. Ooh, impenetrable fog, nice. Um, I could clear weather. Clear weather might be all right. Get rid of it. I don't think they'll, I'll need to use it any other time. I don't want to just straight up try to beat the guy this turn. Sort of. Um, let's go ahead and use the leader ability. Get that guy back in our hand. Card draw. I mean, I could let this guy win this round, and then next round just demolish him because they have more cards. 
Yeah, I don't think I'll let him win. He's got two cards left. Like, I mean... Ooh, okay, all right. All right. It's fine. We can still... We still got him. That Geralt card is crazy. 15. Pretty good. Archer for 10. It's pretty good. Drawing extra cards, are we? Um, could put that into my hand. Let's see what else he's got up his sleeve. Okay, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, totally. You wreck this guy. Especially that move with the... Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. So, watch this about Asama Villa? Snared this present in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own, with a fishing mat. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Yennefer is dangerous. It's true. You can breathe easy. Yen and I, we're not a couple. And we won't ever be one. Ah. Explains why the Sorceress Superior was so damn sulky. Lambert, drop it. <clears throat> Sorry, Geralt. That was, uh, insensitive. We didn't know. <laughs> you wanna... Uh, wanna talk about it? No. I want a drink. Doable. Definitely doable. She said not to stay up late. And I have a feeling we're staying up late. <sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. Not cold in here to me. Do you and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Let's have some fun. I mean, we kind of already are having fun. And I don't know what that means. Uh... I mean... What sort of consequences will we have if we keep this up? But I kind of want to see. Like, it's... You know? Hmm.
do it. Let's have some fun, boys. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kind of... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds <laughs> great. You start. This is... I've never slept with a succubus. Drink, skip around. I mean, did we do that in the first two games? Did we do that in the first two games? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think we did. Holy. That guy did it. How about that? Eskel, Eskel. Still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. <laughs> right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. No, it's it's happened. It's happened, yo. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. <laughs> All right, Geralt, your turn. I can't wait to see these options. Um, never taken Fizz Tech. Never jumped out of a lover's window. That what? Um. I really want to see if these guys done fizz tech before. I've never, never taken fizz tech. Never taken fizz tech. They would probably all drink. Hmm. Let's go with this one. Taken fizz tech. Eskel. Really? Once. With that succubus. <laughs> right. Man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went. To get food. Alright. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Listen, you... you got a problem with me? Me? What? Why would you say that? Well, just seems that way. And you know, you're a little like my little brother. Dumb and annoying. But a brother. Geralt... Damn it! You're gonna make me cry! <laughs> Come here! Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's Eskel? Should've been back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job for Vesemir! <laughs> Dude, Man, enough of the hat. That hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered, I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! <laughs> oh my god. This night at 10 p.m. That's not that Askel! bad. Askel! 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 Geralt? <laughs> it's not that bad. Spilled some wine and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. <laughs> ah, this is funny. Askel! Askel! Glad I did it. 
This is Let's go. Chop, quite chop. amusing. Where are you at? Where are you be? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Chop, chop. Why do you walk out this way? This isn't the kitchen, man. Can't be that wasted. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Hear that? Sounded like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it. We missed a fight. Ah, uh -huh. Eskel's close. Think he, think he hurt himself. What's one scar more or less in his case? Makes no difference as I see it. <laughs> He's asleep. Eskel! 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 Hey. 